Let's talk about luxury real estate and generating luxury leads online. Every real estate agent, whether they want to admit it or not, wants to break into the luxury space. Why? Simply because we know and we understand as real estate agents that we get paid based on the sale price of a property. So if we sell a property that's a million dollars, we're going to get paid two times more than if we sold a property at $500,000. Or we're going to get paid the same as if we sold four properties at $250,000. So as you start to scale your real estate business, getting into the luxury space is a fantastic way to increase your ROI on the time you spend investing in your business. So as you start to scale, it's important to generate online leads using creative strategies, but I want to share with you a strategy that nobody's talking about. Everybody's preaching Facebook ads, even myself. I still use Facebook ads to this day for all of my clients, including myself, and they provide fantastic results. However, as I'm going to explain, the Facebook targeting for luxury is diluting. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one way to generate luxury real estate leads using an online strategy that nobody's telling you. What's up everyone, my name is Mike Sherrard. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you love learning tips, tricks, and secret strategies on how to scale your business using social media, marketing, online lead generation, personal branding, and everything else real estate related, please make sure you subscribe and lightly tap that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Also, if you do get value from this video, which in this one I guarantee you will, please make sure you give me a thumbs up to keep me motivated to continue to put out multiple videos each and every week for you. So as mentioned in the introduction, everybody's telling you that the only way to generate online leads is Facebook. Now I use it, I get fantastic results. I generate leads for all of my clients between one and $3 a lead. We get amazing results. However, it's not the only way. And also, as I've talked about in some of my other videos, Facebook's targeting is diluting in the sense that last year and over the course of the last couple of years, they've been having some trouble in terms of privacy issues, especially in the housing market. So the opportunities to target people in the luxury space or a certain income price bracket is going away. Last year, you were able to target people based on how much money they made. If you want to see the full video where I talk to you about what you can do in order to get over the fact that you can no longer target people based on their income, look in the pinned comment and the description where you can see how I explain how you should properly be running Facebook ads in 2019 and going forward to get the best results and identify the right clients to maximize your money spent. But, as mentioned, you used to be able to target people who are likely to move. You could target people based on their income household wise. So you could target people based on the fact that they're making $500,000 a year or more. You could target people based on their liquid assets. So maybe they've got, you know, $3 million liquid assets. All of those criteria in the past basically confirmed that you were targeting people who would be in the luxury market but that is going away. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one strategy that you can get pinpoint targeting in order to get fantastic lead generation results online in 2019. So without further ado guys, let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you step by step what to do. So here you can see, I'm on my Google Ads account. So this is, you can just go onto Google, type in Google AdWords. Likely all of you have a Google AdWords account. If not, make sure you set it up. This is what you would be doing to, you know, create any advertising in terms of pay-per-click or Google advertising in general. You have a Google AdWords account, but you can also do YouTube advertising through your Google account. So I'm gonna show you the most effective way to target luxury buyers and sellers in your city using Google AdWords with video. So let's go ahead and we're gonna come down here and we're going to create a new campaign. Now, I don't have many results as you saw on the homepage there from this account because I have a different account that I run all of my client stuff from and all of my personal stuff from now. So that's an old account, but it's a fantastic way to show you guys some of these results. So select the goal that would make this campaign successful for you. 
We want to generate leads. So get leads and other conversions by encouraging customers to take action. Now, what are we going to do? Select a campaign type. We've got search, display, shopping, video, and smart. We are going to click video. Reach. So here it says, you know, reach and engage viewers on YouTube and across the web. Generate customer leads and conversions with video ad formats designed to encourage people to express interest and take action action. That's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and click this and we're going to come down and continue. Now here's where we're going to set up our campaign. This is very similar to Facebook. So you guys have likely understood this format before, but I'm going to show you step by step. So make sure you do not skip through this video or else you're going to miss some of the things you need to do in order to get great results. So hang tight with me and I'm going to walk you through step by step this process. So campaign name, let's say we were going to say luxury sell buyers, buyers and sellers lead gen. There we go. So we're the bid strategy. We're just going to say maximize conversions because that's what we want. The other is a target CPA, but we're just going to leave as maximize conversions. Now come down here. And you have your budget similar to Facebook ad. You need to either have a campaign total budget, which is the lifetime budget of your ad, or you can have a daily budget. I like to have a daily budget simply just because I find it's easier to track and I can make sure that you're getting the right results. So I usually start with something like $10 a day. You can start with five, but usually you want to start around $10 a day if you can afford it. And then basically you want to come down here and you have a start and end date. So similar to Facebook, if you just click set run to continuous, it's just going to continue to run forever. Now, sometimes people forget about their ads and what ads they're running. So if you leave it on set continuous, sometimes you're going to forget about your ad and then it could be a month down the road and you spent money on an ad that is either not performing as good as it could, or you're simply just spending your budget when you didn't know. So I like to set a start date and an end date. Now I leave this, I don't select a start date. I leave it as soon as the ads are approved, usually within one business day, but I do set an end date. So come down here, you can set an end date for maybe a, two weeks later or something like that, right? So however long you want to run your ad, that's what I like to do. Now we're going to come down here. We've got networks, all languages and locations. So networks, it auto populates it for you. You can see here that you can't click this. You can't click this. It's in YouTube videos. So you don't have to do anything in terms of the networks. Now languages. Usually I like to click English just because that means the people that are going to be seeing your ads, if it's an English speaking ad are going to be able to understand your ad. So make sure you're targeting the language that is going to resonate. If you're in South America, maybe you want to click, uh, if you're in South America, maybe you want to click Spanish, but for the time being, when I'm showing you what to do in Canada, the United States, I'm going to click English in this case. And then since the majority of you are in the United States, I'm going to come down here and click the United States. So now we're targeting the USA in terms of our included location. You can come over here and see the impressions can be upwards of 10 billion, which is absolutely insane. Now we're going to talk about exclusions. So you can come down here and you can see inventory type. We're not going to deal with that excluded content. I like to exclude all of these. So just click all of them. Tragedy and conflicts, sensitive social issues, sexually aggressive content, sensual, sensational and shocking and profanity. So exclude all of these guys. We don't want your ad showing up on content that's related to any of this stuff because it could give a, a negative connotation to you and your business and your ads. So just exclude all of those. Okay. Now we come down here and we're just going to leave this as is, but we do want to exclude these two exclude embedded videos and exclude live streams. Those are content that you again, don't want your ad showing up on because it's just not going to give a good ROI on your ad spend. So this is where all the magic happens. So stick with me and let's run through this. So ad group name, we're going to say luxury buyers and sellers in your city name. Okay. And now this is what's going to blow your mind. So as mentioned, Facebook is getting rid of some of the targeting in terms of very niche and very strategic targeting when it comes to household and real estate related ads. 
but not YouTube. So let's look at this, guys. We're going to come here and we're going to select the age group that's likely going to be in the market for luxury real estate. So we're going to exclude 18 to 24 because while there are some people between ages of 18 to 24 that are millionaires, it's not the majority. So we want to exclude the minorities to make sure that we're getting the best results for our ad spit. We also want to get rid of unknown. Now, here is where you start to get really trick. Unknown, lower 50%. You exclude all of these. Now, one thing that I should have said, guys, sorry about this, is that when you're coming up here and you're targeting the location, make sure you're targeting not just the entire country. I was just doing that for example purposes, but let's say you want to use Chicago. Go ahead and click Chicago as a city. Okay, so that's going to be the best results. You see the results are now 19 million. So make sure you're targeting your actual city. You're not targeting the entire country, but Anyway, that should have been inevitable, but sorry for missing that. We'll come down here, and now I'm going to show you what to do. So we're going to target the top 10% of household income. So now you can see that the impressions are 12 million. You can include this if you want, but anyways, we're going to come down here and look at the audience. So let's look at this. This is where things get absolutely insane for targeting for you guys. In-market audiences people who are in the market. So let's type real estate. Look at these targeting options that you guys have and I can't believe nobody is showing this to you guys. Look at this. In market audiences, residential properties. In market audiences, houses for sale. People interested in purchasing a house or a townhouse. Facebook and Google. We're using Google in this sense, but Google's algorithm knows everything about everybody. It is so powerful, it will blow your mind. It knows your online patterns, it knows your income based on your different search criteria. It knows everything about us. So while this sounds absolutely insane that Google knows that we're in the market for buying or selling a house, it's not that crazy to think about because if you're in the market for selling a house or buying a house, you're likely searching for how to choose a realtor, top realtors in your city how to buy a house, how to sell a house, looking online at Zillow, truly realtor.com, all kinds of things like that. Google's algorithm picks that up, amalgamates it and basically proves that you're in the market. So you can click in the market houses for sale, residential properties for sale, new houses for sale, houses for rent. So if you're looking in the rental market and you want to start attracting rental clients, whether it be luxury or just average price point, you can come in here and you can target people that are going to be renting a new apartments for sale, apartments for sale. Now, again, you have rent as well. So if you are dealing with the rental market, go ahead and create a separate ad just targeting people that are looking to rent. So the power of this is absolutely insane and nobody is sharing it with you. So you can click all of these and now you can see the impressions are all the way up to 1.8 million in Chicago in the top 10 price point bracket based on household income who are looking to buy and sell. That is unbelievable. And again, you can no longer do this on Facebook. You used to be able to a couple years ago, but it's still available on YouTube, okay? So we're gonna select all of these, right? You can even just click general in market in terms of real estate. And now you can see the total impressions based on your campaign settings is about 2.1 million people, okay? Million impressions. So we're going to leave this. Now, why am I doing that? If you look at keywords, you can type in things like real estate and you can type in looking for a house. In terms of topics, you can come put keywords and you can select different topics on specific subjects. And in terms of placement, you can select different YouTube channels, you can select different websites, things like that. But because we've come up here and selected our targeting, we're already niche enough. You don't need to get more targeted than that. You want its algorithm to have some control in order to show your ads to the best market and the best database of people. So I'm just going to select all of these, all of these in-market audiences, and then we're going to leave the rest, okay? So we're gonna leave keywords out, we're gonna leave topics out, 
and we're going to leave placements out so that it will place it in the right place. Now, here's the final step. It's as simple as that. All you need to do is choose your YouTube video that you want to market. So largely for us as real estate agents, we should be creating video content about our market and about real estate in our in our space, right? So if you guys want my top six video list of what videos every realtor needs to be creating in 2019, comment below and I'll give you the free download showing you the exact videos you should be creating in order to build your brand, become top of mind and generate leads via YouTube video views. But I'm gonna use a, just a general video, for example, on my case, and then you should have a video talking about what you do differently. What makes you unique as a real estate agent? If you're targeting the luxury space as we're doing here, talk about your unique marketing strategy using Facebook ads, online lead generation, and getting more views on properties in less time. So create a two minute video, just anything that's simple and explains what you do differently and why you're the go-to person in this space. Even if you've never done a million dollar listing before, you can still talk about your advanced, innovative and unique marketing strategy about how you use Facebook to get more views on properties, how you get homes sold for more money in less time using your own unique value proposition. Just create a simple video and this is what you're going to plug into here. So we've got a video here, you know, Calgary Real Estate, why most homes are not selling in 2019. We're in a five-year ongoing recession, so not a whole lot of homes are selling. On average, only 30% of homes that are getting listed are selling in my city. It's crazy. That's what it is. So I have this three minute and 26 second video talking about the importance of professional photography, videography, running social media marketing ads and things like that to get more exposure on properties. So all you need to do is copy this link and place it in here. So now you can see this has come up. Calgary Real Estate, trouble selling. And we're gonna have an in-stream ad. So. The final URL is going to be the same because we're going to drive people to that video and the display URL auto populates with the exact same thing. All right, guys. Now, one thing that I should have said, because I'm just a creature of habit. So oftentimes I use this same strategy, but obviously with different targeting in order to get more attention on specific YouTube videos. So what I do is again, I'll show you this in a second, but I just copy the same link, which is the link to the video and put it down here as the final URL because what the final URL is, is what this call to action is going to drive people. So if people click on it, that's where it's going to take people. But what you guys want to do in order to generate real estate leads is you want to be putting in something here like your website or a landing page or something relevant to the video you're talking about. So in this case, if you're generating luxury real estate leads, you might want to send people to your website, but send people to a contact form or send people to scheduling an appointment, maybe even just other luxury listings on your website and prompt them to get in touch after that. So make sure you put in something like, for example, I can put, you know, my real estate website in here and then I'll auto populate down there. And this is the URL that you want to drive people to. So just be mindful of where you want to drive your leads in order to capture their information with the best possible way. And that was what you should be putting in the final URL. Otherwise, if you just want people to simply watch the rest of your video, you can just basically copy and paste this link down here. However, that's not likely going to generate you too many leads because they're just likely just gonna watch the video and then you know move on. But put the link in here of where you would like to drive your luxury real estate traffic. But I will show you what would happen if I just wanted to get more attention on this video. But just be mindful of where you want to strategically send your leads. Now, you can include a call to action so you can say, learn more. You've only got 10 characters here, Max, so be careful about what you type in because if you start to type in more, you can see it goes red and you're not gonna be able to type it. So learn more, watch more, anything like that is a good call to action and you can see here that it auto-populates it and then you can include a headline if you want. So the headline is this right here where it says Mike Sherrard. So you can say Calgary Real Estate or you know, Calgary Realtor 
or anything like that. You have to have 15 characters again, so be careful. I usually leave it out because I just want my name to show up so that again, it's top of mind brand awareness for my name as a real estate agent. You come down here, you name your ad. So you can say luxury lead generation. Sorry, my typing is shit. Sorry, my typing isn't that good. In Calgary, or in this case, we were talking about Chicago. So we'll just say in Chicago, okay? And then you just click save and continue. You can come up here, you can see what it would look like on a desktop ad, which is this. Now you can see what it looks like on a mobile ad. And there you have it guys, that's how you can generate very targeted luxury and high income related buyers and sellers using video ads on Google AdWords and using your content. This is the number one way, the most targeted way to generate online leads in the luxury space in 2019 and going forward. As you saw, it's crazy the potential because it has people that are in the market for buying, for selling, looking for properties, looking for rentals, everything that we want as a real estate agent to generate leads. So the results are crazy and I can't wait to see you guys try this out for yourselves. If you've got any more questions about what to do and how to generate leads online, comment below, let me know, and I will send you also my free documents on top converting templates. So thank you so much for tuning in as always, and we will see you next time.